until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. What else? In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. Then what? I have not sent these prophets. There it is. There it is. Give chapter and verse. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 21. I have not sent these prophets. Look at all these junior elders. In jun if I got any junior preachers here, you no more a preacher. You mm. no more a preacher than the, than the American have three dollar bills. That's right. Junior bishop, junior elders, junior deacon. You're not even a junior devil. You're just of the devil. Amen. Are you listening to this? I have not sent these prophets. I have not sent these prophets. But what happened to them? Yet they ran. You go into churches, wall-to-wall -wall right. preachers. Oh, yeah. You ever been to a church and they have a so-called week revival? Amen. A different preacher every night? Yeah. And every preacher got a slogan. Every preacher. Right. If I use for a text tonight... <laughs> the yellow light around the corner. That's Monday. Tuesday night, another devil come up. If I use for a thought tonight, Miss Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Wednesday night, if I will use for a text, Transformer more than meets the eye. Amen. Everybody got a slogan. Yeah. So we have become conditioned as a people to slogan. That's right. Until we don't even go to church looking for the word to be preached. We go looking for slogans. That's right. And we mistake slogans the for the word. For the word. We have become so blind and so deaf and so dumb, we don't even know what the word is no more. That's true. That's a dangerous thing. Oh, yeah. To be sitting in church for years, spiritually dying, day after day, day after day, and you have no gospel to keep you intact with God's word. That's right. I remember I was in, uh, I believe it was Houston. Houston, Texas, no, Sacramento, California. Spanish brother and his family came to me in tears. He said, Pastor Jennings, we haven't been to church in five years since we heard you. We stopped going to church. He said, the only thing that kept us was watching you every day. I mean, his whole family boohoo. He said, when you preach the message about spiritual death, he said, my wife and myself and my children, that's what's happened to our entire house. Our house started going back to the world because the preachers had nothing to sustain us. That's right. See, the devil had tricked the preachers into thinking that everybody want this watered down teaching. Yeah. Touch the neighbor hand and do this. Yeah. Touch the neighbor hand and do that. Yeah. Preacher got his hands over his ears and the organ playing behind him and he bouncing around yes. like a monkey in a carnival. <laughs> That's right. And they call that preaching. That's right. Because you have some celebrity coming in your church to say a few words or a politician come in your church. God church recognize God as the most famous and the most renowned one in the universe. That's right. That's right. I don't care nothing about no celebrity. I don't care nothing about how rich you are. We don't have celebrities come to first church so many times I can't count. That's true. I don't care nothing about their celebrity status. I don't give celebrities special seats. No. Mm -mm, no. NBA players come, NFL players come, baseball players come. I, I don't, that don't matter to me. No. I, I, no, no. Amen. I take that bat and hammer you with the Bible. <laughs> That's right. It doesn't matter. That's right. We don't need Hollywood actors or actresses to be the spokesperson for the church. No. We don't need rap artists or entertainers no. to be the spokesperson for the church. No. The prophets and the apostles are the spokespersons for the church. That's right. By the Holy Ghost. That's right. The church has become institutionalized by politicians. Oh, yeah. Politicians now, politics run the church. That's true. And the people have become programmed yeah. by politicians. In the book of St. Mark, chapter 12, and at verse 38. Follow me. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes. Beware of the scribes. Which love to go in long clothes. They love to go in long clothes. And love salutations in the marketplaces. Well, they, they're running for president now. Yeah. You'll find them in churches. Oh, yeah. You even find the devil, Trump, in churches. 
That's true. Trump don't bit more believe in church no more than the angels in heaven are shooting pool. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. He get up there and maybe quote a few scriptures on the teller thing and whatnot. And, or, or, and, and man, <laughs> the devil quote Bible. The yeah. devil quote Bible to Jesus. That's right. Listen. And he said unto them in his doctrine. In his doctrine. Beware of the scribes which love Beware. to go in long clothing uh -huh. and love salutations in the marketplaces yes. and the chief seats uh -huh. in the synagogue uh -huh. and the uppermost rooms at feasts. We don't care nothing about your celebrity status. That, that don't mean nothing to us. No. Because when you die, whether you rich or poor, bond or free, black or white, yellow or red, all of us got to stand before God. That's right. And uh, the most dangerous position of church is the pulpit. Oh, yeah. So you fellows that's being ordained, all these positions and me, these, these positions that's not even in the Bible, that you are a diocese bishop and a junior elder and a junior pastor and a half pint bishop and all this stuff. <laughs> Whatever you tell somebody. Whatever you tell. And they die. Oh, yeah. Believe in what you told them. Mm -hmm. And it's a lie. It's a lie. The blood. That's right. It's going to be on your head. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. When these false prophets go to your church and then fake. Oh, the Lord spoke unto me. He can't lie. Shot, tell it a lie. Shot, tell it a lie. Shot, tell it a lie. That's right. You are telling a lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you can tell a false prophet. The Lord is not using them. That's right. They're very dramatic. They go to your church. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Ah, mm. ah. Woo, thus saith the Lord. Woo, 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 woo. Thus the, woo, woo, woo. That's, That's the devil out of hell. That's the devil. That's the devil. Are uh, you listening to the old man? That's right. When God want a prophet to speak, yeah. all that hopping and yelling like a coyote, <laughs> and God ain't in that. No. You read your Bible whenever God made a prophet speak, he spoke his word and that was it. That was it. All that hopping and jumping and shaking your hands, that don't mean nothing. No. All that's moving is by the devil to excite the people. That's it. The Bible says. Now, I have not sent these prophets. Do you hear this? In Jeremiah 23 and verse 21. You see, I love the lay in scripture yeah. to give people a better understanding of scripture. That's right. Because most people don't know how to look at things in church from scripture. Right. I look at things in church from scripture. Amen. I don't care about nobody's feelings. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm looking at scripture. That's right. Sometimes bishops tell me what passage it is. We want you to preach at our church. I said, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want you to bring doctrine. Can you imagine telling me that? My Lord. You're going to invite me to preach and then going to insult me and tell me what to preach? What to preach. Many men ask you, Pastor Jenner, if we invite you, what you going to preach? I said, truth. <laughs> That's what I'm going to preach. That's right. You don't plan nothing? Never. Never. I don't have time. I'm busy. Never. Huh? That's right. I preach truth. That's right. There's enough truth there that will last you throughout eternity. Amen. I have not sent. I have not sent these prophets. Are you sent today, Mr. Preacher? Mm. Are you sent? Sent. You got women preachers? You ain't sent. No. Mm -hmm. no. 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 You're not sent. No. You got women deacons? You're not sent. You're not sent. I'm telling you to your face, Arizona. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, hear what I'm telling you now. That's right. You believe in divorce and remarry? You know you ain't sent. Not, not sent. Living together, not married? You ain't sent. Amen. Homosexual? <laughs> You're not sent. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, I'm divorced and got a second wife, my first wife living, and yet I'm preaching? Mm -hmm. You're not preaching. Not preaching. You're not sent. Not sent. Well, our pastor are danger. I don't care. That's the right. Bible says. I have not sent I these prophets. I have not sent these prophets. God ain't never sent a man to stood up for a lie. No. There's, God ain't never sent a man to stand up for a lie. No way. God sent a man to stand up for the truth, even if that truth hurts him. That's true. That's Paul right. said, oh, wretched man that I am. Mm -hmm. Who shall be able to deliver me from this body of death? The word hurt me. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. The word hurt Gino, brother. Yes, yes it sir. does. Yes, it sir. hurt Gino Jennings. <laughs> That's right. It hurt me, brother. Oh, yes. Amen. But I got to tap out. Once that word put me in a submission hole, I got to tap out. That's right. Yeah? That's right. What did he say? I have not sent these prophets, yet they reign. All this rotten teaching these fellas have. <laughs> and tomorrow you get called and sent of God. That's why I challenged them. Mm -hmm. 
I challenged them. That's yeah. right. I challenged the United Pentecostal and the PAWs and churches of God and Christ and all this folly. Oh, yeah. All these preachers around here and everybody got something different. That's right. You That's mean, right. read your Bible. When Jesus sent his apostles out, he sent them all out with the same thing. Same thing. Didn't he do it? That's right. And then Paul and Barnabas came on later. And they came on with two different religions. No. They all had same the thing. same thing. Same thing. All of them. That's right. That's what right. got me barking loud from one end of the earth to the other. Amen. Everybody got something different. Yeah. The Bible says, how is it then, brother? When, when you, you come, come together, together, every one of you every one has of a you song. Have a song. And that's, that's the song. truth, too. That's true. Let's read this. In 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. All these churches here right in Phoenix, Arizona. Amen. Everybody got something different. That's true. Everybody, apostolic here, <clears throat> Pentecostal there, non-denominational there, Baptist there, Protestant there, Catholic there, Mormon there. Mm -hmm. And then they all have a fellowship service. Amen. Pentecostal, preacher will come who believe in the Trinity and preach for the apostolic and That's get paid. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah, Pentecostal preacher believe in the Trinity. Apostolic say, well, there ain't no Trinity, but he's my friend. My friend. That's, it's all about friend and money now. Yeah. I hold this thing so strict that if I go in the church and preach and I know you don't believe in all the truth of the Bible, we won't give you an offering. That's right. Mm -mm. Because when I go somewhere, the place is packed. Yeah. Hundreds. We won't mm. give you a dime. Amen. Mm -mm. But not a dime. That's right. There's one thing in that Bible you don't believe. Mm. You can pass that offering around. We just keep passing it to each other. <laughs> Went to a church I didn't know it was a woman preacher, supposed to have been an apostle. <laughs> we, the church was so packed, no more can get in the building. Amen. And he was sitting in the pulpit, and we haven't even got the seats warm good. Man got up and wanted an offering, and he started sending the pan around, and it just kept going. He saw there wasn't no money in it. <laughs> All these people, and no money. no money. He looked back at me and said, Pastor Jennings? It ain't no money here. Your people didn't give no money. I said, you ain't getting that. Amen. He said, what? I said, listen, just turn me loose and let me preach so I can kill you and leave. That's right. I didn't come here to give you a dime. That's because right. if you want to be saved, you ain't worried about money. No. Huh? no. I came here to kill them. <laughs> and we killed them. Amen. And left. And left. And left the bodies there. That's right. No money. That's right. You take money and liquor from the preachers, they almost die. Oh, yeah. Because the churches today, God, have been replaced in church by the dollar. Yeah. And again, I say moreover, don't misunderstand me. We know it takes money for things to function. But the preachers should not have to hustle you, lie to you, and use you to get a dime. That's right. If you are a member of a church and they got a prayer line and telling you $500 prayer lines, $1,000 prayer lines, even down to a $1 prayer line. You are in a satanic club. Amen. If you're in a church and a preacher come to you and said, oh, the Lord just spoke to me. He There's $5,000 more in the house. And the Lord said, if you give it, I give it back 100 fold. You got the devil preacher in front of you. That's right. Don't you give that devil a dime. That's right. Tell that dumb dog to get a job and go to work. Go to work. Or die hungry and go to hell. That's right. Eh? Amen. Pastor Jesus, I like you, but you call names. You just call him a dumb dog. Dumb give dog. me Isaiah 56. And 10. Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 10. If I got any preachers here, you judge yourself and see, can you bark this? Amen. All right. Isaiah 56 and verse 10. What is that? His watchmen are blind. Watchman is your leader. Amen. Blind. You mean to tell me you got a preacher that can't see? Mm. What is good is having a dog guarding your house and you got a big sign, beware of dog. Yeah. And that dumb thing never barked. <laughs> That's right. Like a silent movie. Shake his head. Nothing comes out. Amen. You look. The watchman is a preacher. Mm -hmm. He's what? His watchmen are blind. 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 Mm -hmm. Anytime these fellows let any old raggedy Ann preacher come in there, rings on every finger, chains all around his neck, process hair, running some week's revival yeah. just so he can make some money and then split it with the bishop. That's right. 
That's true. All this trash coming from all around the country. That's right. A week revival of trash. That's right. Preachers come in with different spirits each night and contaminate church. Amen. And the people become weaker and weaker off slogans. Yeah. Motivational speakers. Yeah. Motivated to go to college, motivated to make money, but never motivated to live holy. That's because right. they're not taught how to live holy. That's right. The Bible says what? His watchmen are blind. Blind. They are all ignorant. Wait a minute, the preachers are what? Ignorant. But he got a PhD. They are all ignorant. Let's see what is let's see what is DD, his DD degree stand for. They are all dumb dogs. That's what you got. That's right. Dumb That's dogs. what the Bishop DD degree stand for. Amen. He's what? They are all dumb dogs. Why? They cannot bark. The preacher bark. don't open his mouth That's about right. wrong. That's right. That's right. Don't say nothing. Amen. But other people in the church, he get on them. He chastise them. Yeah. But his own family won't touch. That's true. If, you, if the preacher wife do something wrong openly, rebuke her openly. Yeah. If you can't rebuke your wife openly when she do wrong, but yet rebuke others openly when they do wrong, you have respect the person. Respect the persons. If you sit a sister down in church for getting pregnant out of wedlock, and yet your daughter is pregnant out of wedlock for the fourth time, mm. and the bishop don't say nothing, yeah. sit down. That's right. Bible said if the preacher can't rule his own house, how can he take care of the house of God? That's right. Didn't they say so? That's right. What did he say? They are all dumb dogs. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. They can't preach. Sleeping. What kind of preacher are they? Sleeping. What else? Lying down. What else? Loving to slumber. What else? Yea, they are greedy dogs. Why? Which can never have enough. They're lazy and greedy. That's right. That's why it seemed like the Lord only talked to them during offering time. <laughs> Otherwise than that, they don't hear from the Lord only when money's Lord. being raised. Amen. When money's being raised, right then the Lord told him, it's more money in the house. <laughs> it's amazing how these men can get over there and tell the Lord, say, I need a jet. And that, it, what's more amazing is how the people just give it to them. That's true. Let me get on television and tell the folk, the Lord told me to tell y'all to buy me a model plane from Kmart. Not a real one, a model one. They say we ain't buying that crazy man nothing. <laughs> How the people is duped. That's right. Somebody, I think it was on our way down here. One of the brothers was telling me about some false prophet. I don't know whether he was in Africa or America. Convinced the people and said the Lord told him to tell them to drink his bath water. What? Huh? In Africa. So he left his dirty bath water there. My Lord, my Lord. Do you see that you want and people say he's mean. He's talking about preachers too much. I got to warn the people. That's right. Warn them. That's right. Warn them. Warn them. Imagine that. That's something. He told them the Lord's. This is what I mean. These men don't have no fear. In the book of Joshua, the Bible talks about fear. Fear. That's right. He said the Lord told him mm. to tell the members, drink his bath water. And they done it. They, did. they drunk the man bath water. My Lord, my Lord. Another preacher down in Africa said the Lord told him to tell the people that the grass outside, you may have saw it on YouTube, is manna from heaven. Mm. And the members went right out the church on their knees eating grass like an ox. The preacher didn't do it. My Lord, my Lord. You don't find nobody over the air preaching against false prophets. Amen. They won't do it. No, they won't. Because they're scared of being sued or labeled. I don't care if you do sue me. I ain't got nothing to give you. That's right. And if you sued me, I would never apologize for preaching the truth. I'd go to jail and spend my days there. That's right. I wouldn't off give you a dime. Amen. Are oh, you listening to the old man? That's right. The Bible says what? Yea, there are greedy dogs. Joshua talk about fear. In Joshua chapter 24 and at verse 15. Come on, son. And uh, Joshua 24 and verse 14. Yes. Now therefore fear the Lord. What? Now therefore fear the Lord. That's not in church now. No. no. 
fear was in church, yeah. you wouldn't have a different false prophet every night running revival. That's right. If these men feared God, they couldn't even get up here and say something, say certain things without trembling. That's true. God told me to tell you, buy me a car. No, mm -hmm. God told me to get a job and go to work. Amen. He said, if you don't work, you don't eat. You don't eat. That's right. That's why these men want to get in the pulpit. They don't want to work. They're lazy. lazy. They don't want to work. They just want to get up and give a dry lecture and get <laughs> a few amens from the people and tell them, you got to have the love of Christ. That's true. That's what they say about Pastor Jenner's now. Moreover, he don't preach with love. He preach with anger and hatred. He's mean. They think love is uh, talking like Jimmy Swaggart. Yeah. They think love is walking around holding a peace sign like Nixon. Amen. They think love is sounding like Joel Alstein. Mm -hmm. Love is telling you the truth. That's right. Love is telling you what's right. Mm -hmm. When my father took that belt and laid it to my behind, love did it. Oh, yeah. You don't need no sugar preacher. You already got one. That's right. I come to knock your taffy out your hand. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm that Holy Ghost bully. See you with that tech out there. <laughs> Knock that lollipop out your hand. That's right. And take your cotton candy take from it. Right. Give it here. <laughs> Leave it standing there crying. <laughs> Bishop! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I come knock your cotton candy out your hand. Pull the rubber nose off your clown. <laughs> Go and take God. Come along and upset your party and everything else everything. and tell the whole world come back to Bible. That's right. If you're not going to come back to Bible, don't go to church. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't go to church. Hallelujah. If you're not going to believe the Bible, don't go to church. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm not out to be loved. Mm -mm. I want folks to hear this word. That's it. You don't want to do what the Bible said do? Don't go to church. What are you wasting your time for? That's right. There's only one gospel. Yeah. And he gave that to the apostles. Amen. And they all had the same thing. same thing. And ever since the church started on the day of Pentecost, God ain't started nothing else since. That's right. One Lord, one faith, one, faith. one baptism, one, baptism. one doctrine, yeah. one, church, one church, one people. Yeah. All right, listen to what I'm telling you. Now, therefore, give fear. chapter and verse again. J Joshua chapter 24 and verse 14. All right, listen. Now, therefore, fear the Lord. You know what? Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. You that's living together, not married, it's time for you to go your separate way. That's right. I want to put some fear in your house. Fear. You that got your second wife and your third husband, and you know your first wife and your first husband are living, it's time to bring that relationship to a close. That's right. But what about the children, Pastor Jennings? You got to take care of them. Mm -hmm. They are innocent victims of your sins. Yeah. That's all they are. They're innocent victims. Well, my bishop got his second wife. What else is new? What else is new? Even God got one wife. That's right. What? It's the church. Yeah. The church is called the bride. Right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Glory to God. What is that? Now, therefore, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And serve him. Serve them. Him. No. Serve God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And serve him. Serve three in one. And serve him. Serve three in one. And serve him. Serve two. Him. I represent him. Him. I don't represent them. That's right. You that got them, you're on your way to hell. That's right. All down to the Bible, only been him. Only been him. Just one. Mm -hmm. One, the hero Israel. That's right. The Lord our God. One Lord. One. one. I, I have the God of Israel. Go ahead, man. I say I have <laughs> Go ahead. the God of Israel. That's right. I represent the God of Israel, Israel's God, made me a preacher. That's right. Lord, I thank God and I bring the holy commandments to govern creation. That's right. What is that? Now, therefore, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord, Phoenix. I, mm -hmm. Fear the Lord so much, you know, when you fear God, it'll make you get into an argument with the church you're in. Yes, it will. You see all of that wrong going on, you'll go to the office door to preach. Bishop. The Bible said, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to use of authority over the man. And the only place where I see where women taught was in the second chapter of the book of Titus, Titus. when it says the aged women taught the younger women. Yeah. So why do you have the aged women and young women teaching Bible class? That's right. Teaching what is called Sunday school. That's right. And why do we got these Sunday school books? These are the same books the Catholics use, the Baptists use, the Methodists use. Mm -hmm. 
Why is your wife the first lady? I thought Eve was the first lady. She dead. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Do you see how much trouble you will start? Amen. Question your preacher. You hear me tell you over the air? Question your preacher. Question. And when, when you question your preacher, you know what he said? The Bible said don't question God. Ain't no Bible said that. No. And if your bishop said that, you tell him, oh, I'm not questioning God because you ain't God. <laughs> no. I'm questioning you. Right. You stop letting these men take your money and then think you ain't got the right to question what they preach. That's right. That's right. They jumping around, spitting and hollering. People ask me, why you don't preach in a robe? I don't need no robe for what? <laughs> a robe? I don't need no robe. Save your suits. For who? <laughs> You'll wear them out. That's what I got them for. That's right. When I die, I'm going to leave them behind anyway. Yeah. What did he say? Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear God. And serve him. Serve him. In sincerity and in truth. Be sincere in what you're doing. And put away the... Hold it. Mm -hmm. Be sincere in what you're doing. Sure, I sincerity. can't even count the amount of women preachers came out the pulpit from hearing this message and brought their license to church. I didn't ask them. Yeah. Different parts of the world brought their license to church. The Pastor Jennings here. I said, what's this? This is my license. We want you to tear them up. Then I know they're gone. <laughs> Amen. I tore them up and some I set on fire. Make sure they're gone. Amen. Followers in churches are innocent victims of bad teaching. Yeah. And then they get these little scrawny, low-life bums that call little pulpit preachers and send them out, and they can't even stand behind what they preach. That's right. You got to be able to stand right. behind what you preach. That's right. And back that stuff up with Bible. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me a Bible thumper. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. You see, coming up in the hood, one of the words for fighting was thumping. Yeah. When they call us out, we be like, oh, yeah. We have thump, mix it up. Yeah. I come with the Old Testament and New Testament and mix it up. That's right. Thank God and thump you with God everlasting word. That's right. This is that old fashioned holiness. Yeah. That the devil been trying to get rid of before I was born. Amen. But brother, it is here in full bloom. Oh yeah. The devil will never be able to get it out of the earth. That's right. The Bible says what? Now therefore fear the Lord. Fear God. And serve him. Serve him. In sincerity. Be sincere. And in truth. And truth. And put away the gods which your fathers served. Put away what? And put away the gods. Sell it. G-O-D-S. Put away what? And put away the gods. Anything that have to do with gods. God. Put away. You try to pluralize God. What do you do? Put away. Put away. Well, I got three. The Bible says. And put away the gods. Put away. That little picture in your house is supposed to be Jesus. Because mm -hmm. I know here in Arizona, there's a lot of Catholics here. Amen. I know a lot of Catholics. You got that old little lying hippie on your wall. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go to work in the morning, you turn to the preacher, to the bishop. You fool. That's a fool. Who told you that was Jesus? That's right. Get that trash, that graffiti off your wall. That's right. Huh? That's right. Bring it here. I put a mustache on it. <laughs> deface it. I deface it. Amen. I burn it up. That's right. Amen. The and, Bible says. And put away the gods. Get them statues supposed to be Mary out of your house. Yeah. Get that statue supposed to be Jesus. Talking about Jesus' birthday is next week. That's a lie. That's a lie. There ain't no Bible that says his birthday is December 25th. Yeah. All of you that tell your children that lie, you a liar. That's a liar. That's right. Amen. That's right. I want you to know this, Arizona. Amen. What of God says what? And put away the gods. Put away the gods. Take your pictures out the house, supposed to be Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tell your bishop to take that cross with the image on it. That's idolatry. That's idolatry. Take that manger off your house. Hey Amen. Go, go to your house when you go back home tonight. Kick it over. <laughs> That's right. Kick it. Stomp it. Crush it. That's right. Hey, the moment you get out your car, just run to it. <clears throat> Don't need for the wife to say, baby, you kicking Jesus. Dang <laughs> That's not Jesus. That's right. That's some little unofficial dummy you got there. <laughs> Amen. 
The Bible says. And put away the gods. Put it away. Put away the gods. All right, Phoenix. You got to put away all that idolatry. You got to throw out all your pictures that's supposed to be Jesus, that's supposed to be angels, that's supposed to be Mary. Somebody say, even angels? Give me the book of Exodus. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, we're starting at verse 1. 